What's going on, everybody? Daily Sart here, back again with another boxing video. All right, for all of those, this is pretty much a continuation of my Austin Trout versus Mikhail Cotto fight that happened uh, tonight or Saturday night. If you're watching this video on another day, I'm I'm really just kind of asking this question, to everybody. After I've seen this, after I've watched the fight against Austin Trout, do you honestly think it's time for Mikhail Cotto to retire? All right. I mean. In, in my in my opinion, I would say yes, because there's really not that many opportunities out there for Miguel Cotto to a actually try and you know and, and oblige, because it's it's like who who else can who else is really out there for him to actually make big money fights against? Now I'm only talking big money fights. I'm not talking about fighting guys. Excuse me, fighting guys in the lower end of the top ten. Or anything like that. I'm talking about like top five and up, or even top three and up. You know, there's not really that many opponents unless he starts reaching back into 147 and stuff like that. And I don't, I don't, I don't believe that Miguel Cotto doesn't even want to go back to 147. You know, so because the fight with Canelo's out, he lost to Mayweather already. He, I mean, he he doesn't have anything to offer to someone like Sergio Martinez. He got beat by Austin Trout. I mean, like, who could he fight now? Chavez Jr.? I mean, I, th I believe Chavez Jr. would probably be my only other choice, mainly because as he's coming off of a loss against Sergio. So, I mean, if you wanted to make a Puerto Rico versus Mexico, like, rivalry, I mean, I think this is probably the, the, the next most logical fight for both men. It would make both men a lot of money. You could put it on pay-per-view, you know, so... He, they both men would be well off. Now, business aside, now let's talk about personally. Now, let's talk about physically. Is per, is, is is Cotto still physically and mentally capable of taking on these type of assignments? You know, and at conquering these opponents. Like he took a beating. Well, he don't want to say he took like a he didn't take a margarito type of beating, but he got into a very very physical fight with Austin Trout. I mean, the guy's face was obviously very, very... It told the tale of the damage that had happened throughout 12 rounds. You know, immediately after the after the decision, he left the ring, you know, embraced his family, his wife, his sons, his daughter, his mother. You know, then his you can also see, you can see his son was crying. I'm, I'm sure his son has cried before in most, most of his fights. But, I mean... Like, how much more damage does Cotto is willing to take before he calls it quits? You know, it's like, it seems like the guy, he has a very good head on his shoulders. He has his own promotional company now. He has lots of good fighters in his camp. You know, you can, even during some of the, uh, like, the face-offs that he had with, with, with Margarito, you know, when he does these little off-camera uh, interviews, he, see, he always puts his family before boxing. You know, he's not gonna risk his life in the ring like a lot of these other boxers are willing to do but you know they're saying like oh i'll put my life on the line you know like margarito he said uh i'm willing to die in the ring stuff like that and miguel cotto made a very very clever reply by saying that he puts his family before boxing and that if he were if he did put his life on the line and he dies who's there to take care of his family you know i thought that was a very 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 good reply you know i don't see cotto do you know fighting for too much longer if he fights another one or two more times you know that'll be that i mean i won't be surprised if he doesn't retire after this fight with trout you know uh, it it really all the i guess it all depends in my eyes i honestly think he shouldn't you know i'm a big miguel cotto fan i don't want to see the guy get beaten to a pulp and you know he ends up with like parkinson's disease or you know, going partially blind in one eye or partially deaf or some type of mental disability or something like that, you know. I don't want to see anything, any any long-term side effects from the sport of boxing, you know, hit Miguel Cotto at such an early age. I think, I think he's like 30 or in his 30s now. So the guy has a long life ahead of him, a long, healthy life, you know, beautiful family, everything like that. The dude just needs to, he needs to get out. You know, he's did what he had to do. He fought some of the best fighters boxing has to offer. He had a great run. You know, he made his money. 
it's time to do it. I, I believe it's just time for him to call it. I don't want to see, like I said, I don't want to see the man get get killed and completely dominated in the ring by some up and comer, especially Canelo. Canelo would if, if he beat if he had beat Trout by a narrow margin by one or two points, then Canelo was sitting side you know on the outside waiting for Cotto to call him out. Again, been some big pay per view fight. Canelo would have smoked Cotto. I mean, he would have smoked Cotto. He would have beat the living shit, excuse my language, out of Miguel Cotto. And I would not want to see that. You know, I'd been, I'd have been just like his son. I'd have been at home on the couch and crying my eyes out because this dude's getting his ass whooped. You know, but you know, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you believe Miguel Cotto should hang it up? From a bit, not not from a business perspective. I meant just from a boxing perspective. Do you think Miguel Cotto should call, should retire, and just become a businessman now? That's what I want to know. Like, dislike, subscribe, all of that. I'm Deadly Assar here. Signing out. Everyone take it easy. Happy holidays.